Broad show, talking real life. Sophisticated, melanated, we gotta feel right. Men and women, black culture, yeah, that's real life. Yeah, that's real life. Put it in the air. Put it in the What up, what up, what up, what up? Welcome to episode 147 of the Putting Air Podcast. Your boy, George D. We got Tone Sess, you, you. Asia in Ew. the building. It's another week, another week, another week. And ladies and gentlemen, as we embark on this Christmas holiday, we brought in a special guest. Yep, yep. He's back. He's back. <laughs> He's definitely back. We got my man, Aaron Gasson in the building. Mr. <laughs> Chef, Chef Gasson. I got Message your name like about 50 times and so gassed up to say your name. We, we off that good wine. Hey, listen, yeah, we off 20, the good wine. Good wine. We, we 20 years in. How you gonna still mess up the name? <laughs> because I wanted to say like every name that I could think of. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You trying to break the name? Chef Eric G- <laughs> well, listen, it's, French. Chef. it's French. Gasson. Gasson. <laughs> That song, you can't forget that. Wait, wait, but I feel like we ain't doing enough justice. We ain't doing enough justice. Hell no! He brought in the whole spread. They ain't even get to enjoy it or see it next time. You All right, come back. like we. So, ladies and gentlemen, and before we started, yes, next time, Mr. Gasson, aka Chef Gasson, aka Chef Aaron, <laughs> aka Coach Go and May, came That's in the right. building That's with right. a nice spread. What did you bring in today, man? I brought Mac bites. I brought um, what else? The crab cake. Uh, it was a sandwich. The hibachi the, 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 steak. Uh-huh. Yeah, I did uh, the Seafood. crab cake over the Alfredo. Uh-huh. We did the regular crab cake because yep. we know we want trying to watch our calories. Because I, so. I ate everything now. <laughs> trying to watch the calories. Yeah. I don't know if he was watching watch calories. Watch him go off that he plate. And- <laughs> 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 exactly. Um, but let's give him a proper introduction. So yes. today in the building, we got my man Aaron Gasson. All right, I've known this guy for some time now. It's a little bit. A, lo- a little bit, right? A little bit of time. A little bit. My man and ran the gamut. But one important thing is this dude is a monster in the kitchen. So before we get into him, I just want to shout you out, bro. Appreciate you for coming back on the show. Man, on behalf sure. of the Panera Podcast, Very appreciate good, yeah. you, brother. Yeah. All right. So this guy right now is the creator, the founder, the man behind Culture Gourmet. I know y'all seeing him online. He's doing a lot of dope meals. People are copping. I just seen the Christmas party thing you had on the Zoom. Man, I did That was Zoom crazy. Thing. It was like crazy that the lady called me and uh, the customer called me. And it was just like, she said, can you do 13? And I need them all by 12. Yeah. And like, you know, you got to be in an hour of time frame. Yeah. Man, crushed it. Crushed it. Crushed it. Loved it. They loved everything. All right. So since we did... All right, I've known him for so long that I just want you to just tell your journey. Like, how did wow. you get to Culture Gourmet? And wow. what is Culture Gourmet? So before we figure out what Culture Gourmet is wow. and why you called it Culture, Culture Gourmet, tell them how did Aaron Gatson become Mr. Chef Gatson? <laughs> so that started So that started years ago, man, like 97. Oh, shit. So we're talking like I was like 15, man, young kid in the streets trying to figure it out. Brother's like, man, get off the streets. Mm-hmm. Come come work with me in this kitchen. I'm mm-hmm. like, man, bet. I'm like, okay. Did you I, said this is your brother? My brother. Okay. My older brother. Mm-hmm. And uh, went in the kitchen, and it was just like, it seemed like it was easy to me. Mm-hmm. Like, it was just like, everything was easy. Like, wrapping potatoes, taking out the trash, like, doing the dishes. I was like, that's easy. I do that at home. Yeah. I don't get no bread for it. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> like, right. I ain't get paid for it. I'm yeah. Like, uh, I get here and I get fed. Mm-hmm. Yep. And I get the bread at the end of the day. I was like, oh, yeah, I love this. Like, it was it was, it was, was a no-brainer. So when I did that and uh, took that energy and I was like, man, let me see I can just push myself. So in school, I pushed myself. They offered me, like, a manager position. Mm-hmm. Like, as soon as I graduated from school, <laughs> Most of my friends were going to college and everything. And I was like, man, they're all going to college, but I'm about to make 50000 <laughs> Yeah. And I just took it, man. And yeah. ran with it, man. Me and my brother, we, we was in there for a long time. And then um, together, we worked together for like 11 years. And then um, after that, we were just, I just did my thing, man. I was in the, I did everything from culinary from chef to uh, um, to GM. Mm-hmm. And then I just was just like, man, 
I'm ready to, I moved from that restaurant to another restaurant. Mm -hmm. And then it was just, it was just on a popping. Cause I remember when we kind of met, you was at Jerry's. Yes. And I was like, yo. Shout uh, out to Jerry's. Shout out to Hungry. I was like, yo, shall I go to Jerry's? <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Jerry's, man. Shout yeah. out to Phil. Shout out to, uh, Jerry, the original Jerry, man. Those, I wouldn't be able to do it without, without those guys, man. They really gave me a million dollars worth of game at 15. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And for me to figure it out and take that and translate and then and give it to other people, that was amazing for me. So I, I shout out to, all, to, to those guys at Jerry Seafood for sure. All right. And if you would listen to episode, uh, season two, can't remember the name of the episode. <laughs> you came through. Yeah. And at that time, I was like super ecstatic. He was like, yo, G, got a new situation. Yeah. This is the thing in the city. It's like, what is that? He was like, MLK Deli. Yeah. What's up? What happened? What's, talk to us about MLK Deli. So the Deli, man, that was so, so fast forward. I just started after I was with, you know, doing my thing in GM and, and that. And uh, I was like, you know, I want to help people build their brands. So mm -hmm. ended up, I was consulting for a while, ended up linking up with uh, a friend of mine. And it was just like, and she was like, I got a friend that needs help with the consulting. So I go and I look at this place. I'm like, ah, uh, I don't know about this place. <laughs> because my uncle used to run it years ago. Okay. Um, so then um I came and I'm like, I don't, I don't know. So I went in there, I looked at it, and I'm like, okay. We talked about it, and then uh I see my uncle come in and he's like, Oh, okay. Like, mm -hmm. he's the landlord, he owns the building. Okay. The long and short, he owns the building. So he's like, you know, this guy took it over. See if you can help him out. So it was great. So it was it was perfect for me, man. And how long you ran that? You was I doing was that? There for, I was there for two years. Okay. And uh, Ty, shout out to Ty too. Shout out to Ty Stunner, man. He's definitely a, a visionary and definitely an influencer in the city. And he he had the people, man. He's, he would bring the people. And I had the food. It was a perfect combination. Like, mm -hmm. I'm going to be honest with you. It was like a match. So as soon as we did Absolutely. that. Absolutely. We, we had the city going crazy for them crab cakes. Absolutely. Still. So voted. So shout out to him. Uh, and uh, MLK Deli, uh, they voted number three in in in, uh, in DC for the crab cakes. Oh yeah, yeah that's what's up. Sure. That's dope so for sure. So yeah, shout out to him and keep that keep that energy going, man. Yeah. So then one day, you know, I, I'm a little weird. I be I be on my mission sometimes, right? Mm -hmm. And I was on a Panera mission that night. Mm -hmm. I was looking for some tomato soup <laughs> and the grilled cheese. <laughs> so I was looking for a sandwich and some tomato yeah. soup, right? Uh. So I'm out uh, by Metro Center, I think, right? Mm -hmm. And it's cold as shit. I double parked. I'm like, fuck, I'm about to run in. Boom. Run into this guy. I'm like, what are you doing out here? <laughs> he got a t-shirt on. I'm like, I'm cold, but you got to be cold. What's yeah. going on? I hate coats. <laughs> hate coats. So we start talking. And he's like, yeah, man, I'm doing this. I got a new venture. I'm, I got some coming, George. I got some coming. Yo, keep in contact with me. I got some coming. Some time goes by. Before I know it, see him again. Culture Gourmet. What is Culture Gourmet? Man, Culture Gourmet, man. It's it's everything I've done, all my journeys, all my career, it came to this. So okay. I'm, so COVID had a little bit to do with it, you know, just the times. And it was it was uh, definitely a time of ref, uh, reflection and just trying to understand what I want to do, what I want to give the people, because I love to give the people an experience. So I uh, sat around for, for a long time, shopped the idea around to a couple of friends and see how couple of like former GMs and things like that. Cause the restaurant business right now, a lot of people not working. True. Mm -hmm. They're not doing anything. So they, you know, they, we, we reach out to each other. We try to figure out what can we do to, to make it, to make it grow. And, and I want to say we had a few meetings the whole summer. And then finally into the summer, it was like, it was four, it was three of us in the beginning. And then it was just like, when it came down to it, man, we was just like, well, what do we want to do? It was like, let's do what we want to do, man. Let's get the people the good food. Give them great portions. Give them good, something they wouldn't no normally get if they're getting in, uh, like at a Popeyes or something. It's gonna be a little bit more expensive, but it's you know it's just it's just something out of the box. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And the grand scheme of things for us in Culture Gourmet is it's a, it's the gourmet food. It's giving that experience. It's it's everything that comes along with that. So it's just not the not the crab cake. It's just not the stuffed salmon. It's everything that comes along with it. It's the box. It's the bag. It's the it's the utensils. It's everything that goes along with it to give you a good experience for us. And the different, how we pick the menu is just, you know, the different cuisines. Because we think that every culture has a gourmet item. Everybody has a thing that they like want to take and elevate it. Whether it be tacos, whether it be 
soul food, whether whatever you want to do, you want to take it and elevate it. So we're like, how do we take the things that we do and elevate it and make it gourmet and make it affordable for the people and make give them good quality? So that that was the vision behind Culture Gourmet. And we just pushed it, man. We just pushed it and we and we did that. Let me ask you another question. I know Tony's more of a foodie than me. Tony's right. in the kitchen for real. Mm-hmm. All right. What is gourmet? Because people say that people think it. Parsley, though. What is it? <laughs> what no, you put parsley, parsley yeah. Yeah. Once you put parsley, flour. yeah, that's and automatic. Flour, gourmet. Yeah. It's parsley in the flour. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can't do it. <laughs> what makes it gourmet? What is gourmet? What makes it gourmet? So my definition of gourmet is, is taking something that you would normally do with your grandma, whatever you remember your grandma do or whatever that is, that's culture to me. Mm-hmm. So gourmet is taking that item mm-hmm. and elevating it to a, a, a plate where people are like, man, I mean, I look, they look at it and they're like, man, I want to eat that. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, like I want to eat that. So gourmet is taking something that's kind of like, um, you know, it's mission of star is the big thing in the restaurant business. So when you get a mission of star, you like, you, you, you made it. Yeah, yeah, mama, yeah. Mama, I made it. Like, yeah, you yeah. Know what I mean? So when you get Mr. Star, that's the big thing. So it's like taking something that that you would normally that you would normally eat and possibly deconstruct it or not deconstruct it and just make it elevate it to a level of something better than you would normally have. Does okay. that mean like adding different ingredients? Like yes. About yes. Garnishments? That's, not the garnish, but it's the flavor that puts in the food. But a lot of things are still simple, but a lot of times Things people don't think about it. So somebody be like, yeah, I'm going to make salmon. But they don't want to be like, yeah, I'm going to do a beurre blanc. Or I don't do like, I'm going to do a, I'm going to do a stuffed chicken. Or I'm going to do a, a crab cake. But they're like, yeah, I'm going to do my mama's crab cake. And it's got rice crackers in it. It's got all these things. In it. it's not, <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. say, it's different. It's taking that item. So gourmet to me is taking that item and making it 10 times better than what you would normally have. Okay. So, so how do you so, how do you make spaghetti ten times better than what you normally? You can't. Like? Nah, you can't. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> you can't. Nah, you, can't. you gotta you gotta make that so that, nah. that bolognese. You gotta let that like from some 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 crushed tomatoes rather listen. than the ragu. You gotta listen. Make it sauce. Listen, I don't use ragu at all. I right. make my I make my tomato sauce from scratch every time. Right. Okay. So when I talk about it, it takes me about three four hours, and I cook it down. Okay. Down. I'm like, I'm like, see, right there. I'm like, let's go make spaghetti. Hey, listen, I'm like, good fellas. Remember that scene? He's like, slicing the keep, garlic. Yeah, with he's, the, like, the he's like, he's like, keep stirring that, keep stirring that, uh, <laughs> keep stirring that sauce. I'm, I'm that guy. Like, mm-hmm. keep stirring that sauce. It's three hours in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what you got to do to keep it. To, to keep it. It's all about the fresh ingredients. It's all about using the best products. Mm-hmm. That's another thing that makes it gourmet too. The you, fresh I mean, products. Yeah, it's just like you know, just not buying. Just anything, like looking at it, understanding what it is, knowing what's in season, what's not in season. A lot of people don't really view that piece. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? They just look like, oh man, hey, just tomato sauce. Like, yeah. Like, it's not, sometimes people put a lot of effort into those things, like mm-hmm. making a bolognese and things like that. Mm-hmm. It's like, you know, we want to get vine ripe tomatoes. We don't want to get just regular tomatoes. You know, the beef sticks, you got different types of tomatoes, but you want to buy the best product to get the best results. So that's, to me, that's the definition of love. So at Culture Gold May, you getting that everything is you getting that top of the t- top tier. You getting that, and yes. that's and, and and that's why you know, uh, you have you know, my business partner. Ten, shout out to Terrence too. He's a, a a great, but that's that's something that we stand behind. Like I I didn't be in business for this long, and being the business, the restaurant business for twenty years plus to give subpar. Mm-hmm. I can't like it's mm-hmm. like people paying you paying for that time, you paying for the effort that. All those years of getting that product, you know, mm-hmm. and then you're not just getting like some guy that's just like, man, let me get this ragu <laughs> and mix it with these meatballs that yeah. I saw at Costco's, and we're gonna put this together and make some meals, make some meals, and make some money. Like, yeah, I'm not that dude. Yeah, so like that's the difference between to me, it's gourmet and like just regular people. Like, nah, you 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 doing something? We 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 had uh brother old boy in here earlier. <laughs> he don't, he don't <laughs> lactose intolerant, and he was like, oh. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and take the bullet, man. Whatever this dude, he ain't take no. He's like, whatever this dude did to me tomorrow, I'm gonna deal with it tomorrow. But right now, I'm eating that Alfredo. Yeah, Yeah. he ate that Alfredo. Yeah, so and and a couple of servings too. Yeah, (laughs) that's what's up. Yeah. Yeah. So all right, let's let's break something down. Um, pick one of the items you brought in tonight and help us understand how that is a culture. Uh, um, the culture in that and the gourmet in that. So 
I'll tell you the hibachi. All right, let's talk Period. about it. Like the hibachi. Like, so when I think, and when I get inspired about the weekly specials and I'm like, yo, what are we doing this week? Like, what's going on? And, I, and I, I'm the type of person or type of chef that I'm like, I'm asking the people, like, what do you think would be popping this week? Or like, what do you think would be dope this week? I think that um, <laughs> us as uh, our culture, as mm-hmm. black people, we love Asian food for sure. Italian food, anything pasta and rice. <laughs> <laughs> like we love it. No I'm matter a little what. A- I'm African, so I'm not gonna give that to the Asians. <laughs> I'm taking I'm taking, taking ownership of the rice, okay? Yeah, okay. I'm taking okay. ownership of the rice. Go ahead. You didn't even add in beans, like rice and beans. You know what I'm saying? Right. So the, like, you know, shout out my Caribbeans. We take it ownership of the rice. rice. You take we take ownership? ownership of the rice, man. man Look, go ahead. Have, I want no smoke. <laughs> go no ahead, smoke. go ahead. Go ahead. But but just just that dish in itself. It's just All like, right. okay, like you you see the guy at the Hibachi station like like doing those things, but we want to do that same thing and you're not getting that experience with that, but you're getting the flavor with that same that same move. Okay. So that was that was a thing for me, like doing the hibachi. And I also was inspired by another chef that came in, was like, Man, I'm doing the hibachi. I did the hibachi last summer and I was like this summer and I was like, I was like, Hibachi? Because I do stir fries. Yeah. Do a lot of stir fries, but he was like hibachi, and I'm like, and I called him. I was like, yo, bro, I'm going to do the Zabachi. Mm-hmm. So I tell him, I'm like, we talked about this, but like, bro, you yeah. inspired me yeah. and I'm going to take this Zabachi yeah. right? <laughs> and I'm going to run it. Yeah, right, yeah. right, right. And it worked out perfect. So what was the mix? It was a uh, Hibachi so, what? That, that was Hibachi steak. So hibachi. we do a different- And you, uh, and you bought the seafood one? Too. Yeah, we did. We did. We did okay. salmon and shrimp. Okay. And then uh, we do chicken and shrimp. Okay. So those are the options. But um, but those are things that like, like you know, we ran it for two weeks. So we just try it and see what works. Mm-hmm. And, you know, that's the thing about Culture Gourmet, too. We want to make sure that it's not like, um, it's not like we want you to come looking for the food. Like we want you to follow us so you can get, so you can find out what's what's popping or what's going on. Mm-hmm. The menu, we do have a standard menu, but we want to have some things that's like not on the menu that you mm-hmm. got to like check and follow us to get it. And those are the things that we have, the hibachi, the mm-hmm. stuffed salmon, mm-hmm. um, you know, we do, we doing them right now. We're doing the seafood Fridays. The seafood Fridays, we take a discount everything. So mm-hmm. anything seafood is $20. I don't care what it is. Mm. The half pound crab cake that you saw now, Alfredo, mm. I, I don't care. It's $20. Because I want to, I feel like right now in the time, it's like we want, I want to get back to the people. And you're getting a no filler crab cake, something you would pay that anywhere else, anywhere else, $25, $30. We want to be able to give it to the people on that day because most people get paid on Fridays and most people, Want seafood on Fridays, so mm-hmm. we want to be able to to offer that to the people uh, and get back to the culture. You know what I mean? So, so mm-hmm. that's I mean that's the biggest thing. So everything we do is inspired. It's not like I just wake up in the in the morning. I'm like, oh yeah, let me do this. Like we want to we want to get back as much as we can. So something just happened, right? I felt something. Mm-hmm. A little ESP action. Somebody's <laughs> like, yo, how can I get the food, G? <laughs> What's up? I hear you talking about hibachi, this, crab cake. How can they get so, Coach Gourmet? That's a great question, by the way. I'm glad you got the ESP. ESP, <laughs> I'm signing the chime. They, they connected. Yeah, they connecting. I'm going to connect it right now. So Tony smiled. Asia looked at me and I connected to you. Yeah, yeah perfect. Oh, yeah, I love it. I love it. So at Coach Gourmet is how you get us uh, okay. on the... Uh, on the gram, mm-hmm. uh, that's the best way to contact us. Also, you can click that link mm-hmm. in the bio and click on there. We um, we we're doing we we'll come out with some new things for the new year too. Where you can just click on the picture and buy it. Mm-hmm. Um, and then uh, also you can follow me because most times I get I'm the one to get inspired and I'm the one that puts the pictures up. But you can follow me at Mr. Gatson, and you can get all those dope, amazing. That's Mr. Dot G A D S O N, right? Mr. Dot G A D S O N. Yep, Mr. Dot. Okay. Yep. Um, so y'all heard it again. Mr. Dot G A D S O N, Mr. Gasson, or Coach at Coach Gourmet. Go click that. You know what I'm saying? Go cop something right now. Y'all doing something every week though, right? Yeah, we do it every week. So we change it up every week. So we try to run two specials a week and then we just either be one for last week or we the one from so we just try to mix it up every week to make it to make it with so check us out. Prob- we're gonna do things. This week, of course, and then next week. But New Year's, we're going to bring that flavor and that, that fire for oh, sure. So what y'all got on New Year's? That's like I, a see, special we, dinner? Check. 
Go to uh, cult, that's at Culture Gourmet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. At Culture Gourmet. Well, my man like a pop up dinner. My man is. We so listen, had, we like, working. Pop-up listen, I, listen, listen, man. I'm working a pop. I'm we working a pop up. And listen to me. I don't really I'm, see it in DC. I'm gonna drop the seed. I'm gonna drop the seed. I'm gonna drop the seed. So we work. I'm dropping the seed. So we definitely gonna work it on something for Valentine's Day. My man, oh. for sure. Okay. Yeah, and that's, and that's gonna be. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be plated. It's gonna be. It's gonna be amazing. Hold on, let me say it right. It'll still allow you to do what you need to do with your ladies. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> or your man on Valentine's nah, Day because it's, it's Sunday, February 14th, right? But the event is going to be Saturday, February 13th. Right. So that you you go into <laughs> Valentine's Day with already 25 points, you know what I'm saying, on the board. I was about to get toxic real quick. No, 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 no. All right, so... So is that a singles thing, don't you? Is that a singles? Is that nah, it's whatever. It's whatever. It's whatever. Wait, can you mix that on Valentine's Day? No. Singles, yeah. Couples? No, you can't. It's about love. No, it's not. I don't nah. think that single nah. women will have a single women on their yeah, Valentine's nobody Day. Would, nah, nah. 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 All right, so, we don't, so we, now we're telling about couples? So you got to be talking about couples. <laughs> we only had or one single. conversation. <laughs> <laughs> we only had one conversation. They put this on the spot. Don't do it. I'm saying it now. We're going to do a double. We're going to do the 13th and the 14th. The 13th and the 14th? I think we should do a brunch or maybe like a late evening on the 14th. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. Two-day event. All right. We only had one conversation. This is our second one, so we rocked out. That's right. All right, so look. (laughs) He brought it in first. Thank you for that, (laughs) alley-oop. I'm talking to my man Aaron on the phone the other night, and we chopping it up, and he says this, and I said, I'm taking it from you, bro. Uh He said, yo, food and relationships go together. I was like, you see that triple? (laughs) <laughs> Did you see it? I saw. Food and relationships Facts. go together. I said my Facts. man is on relationships one. and chocolate. Like what kind of food are we talking about? Man, listen. That so listen. Let's let's talk about the first thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if I ask you, say, listen to me, I'm about to go grab something to eat. And you like, no, I'm hungry. Yep. And then I come I'm back with hungry. I'm come back with the hibachi, and you like, yeah. Dig in with the fork. Let's go. I'm going to look at you strange. Why? Because I asked you before we left. <laughs> <laughs> I asked you before I left. So hey, you don't share? Want something. Oh, hold on. I don't believe you I'm going to share. I'm going to share. I'm going to share. But I get. But you're going to be like, but I yeah. Used, I, I used know. to be that guy, though. I used to be that guy that yeah. was upset about it and be like, have a whole That's connection. That's hateful. Nah, you got to ask for a girlfriend cheap. combo. That way That's that the right. people know, just put a little bit more mm-hmm. rice or a little bit more vegetables. Yeah. Just nah, in case. I feel like God should assume that if you're I just double up. I'm like, listen, nah. I'm like, listen to him. I know she like chicken. I'm getting it. What's the bowl? Or what's the what's the? I'm like getting it. it. Was it chicken? Yeah, let me get that. So we should that. always yeah. assume that I'm a just woman. Yes. Always going to nibble on your. Yes. They gotta taste it. Exactly. For I, sure. Wow. Hold up. They Pause. have to taste. I'm it. so happy you said that. <laughs> Lady in the room. Sorry to put the spotlight on Here you, we go. but let's go. yeah. What the spotlight? What the spotlight? What the spotlight? Why is it that that when y'all see y'all man play come out, y'all gotta touch it? We don't gotta touch it. No, y'all have to no. touch like, it. Like, with your hand? No, no like, no, y'all mean, gotta, like, gotta have, have some. some of it. Yeah, we have to. Why? Because I wasn't hungry until you got it. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. You <laughs> got your food. You got your food. But I wanna taste yours too. Why? I don't know. <laughs> Yo, why I, do you have to have a reason for everything you wanna do? And why do you base your meal off of what I'm about to order? Like, yeah. wait, before because I say what I'm has, getting, no, what you getting first? For that. Hold on. All right. As a chef, when I order food and I'm out on a date, you order in. Listen to me. No, I order I order my food every time. Yeah. It's like, that looks so good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You why like, yours always look better than mine. Yeah. I'm like, girls no. be indecisive. <laughs> I'm so like, by the time no. you get yours, we want to taste it too. I read the but menu. We should get different I, I read the menu. You should so that we can taste everything. <laughs> I don't know what Have, kind of date All right, no, no. I, I agree that's with not, I understand that. Fun. If that's if that's the agreement before we order, like, yo, let's try all this. Yeah, no, no, it's gotta be that though. It's gotta be shared. We gotta I'm all talk about family Because sometimes I'm hungry, right? So, so I know exactly share? what I want. Oh, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna say that though. But I'm the type of person, order what you want. So if no. you wanna taste mine, order that too. Let me ask That's you this Have you ever had to sacrifice your plate? Yes. No, nah, I ain't never sacrificed. I had to sacrifice my whole. Have you ever plate. made a dude sacrifice? Or you gave the puppy dog eyes so that he felt like he had to sacrifice? When him? I was pregnant, yes. <laughs> Valentine. Hold on, did you have a plate in front of you and you still got the plate? Where, where it's like your food came out, oh. her food came out, and she was like, let me taste yours. And then yep. she's like, mm, yours tastes better, better. than mine's. And oh, then you I have did. to switch plates. You're like, all right, here. <laughs> you <laughs> Yo, take mine <laughs> and I take yours. Yeah. Mine's, mine happened on the Valentine's Day. So I was on full love mode and I was like, you know what? Whatever goes down today, it's all about you. 
I order what I wanted. I looked at the menu. I kind of was like, all right, let me rationalize this thing. I order what I want. Mm-hmm. She was determined to keep getting what she always gets because mm-hmm. that's what they always do. They stick I, to what they know. And that's right? the good thing about, <laughs> about what y'all doing. Like, yeah. shit switching up because people will stick to their they same yeah. thing. All right. She got what she always wanted. Chicken and, Alfredo? Nah, I forgot what it was. And um, her joint came out. My joint came out. Mm. I'm like, okay, my crush is joint. She looked at her joint. She's like, she gave the joint like a 3D <laughs> view, right? From different angles. <laughs> yeah, like a, it was like a virtual tour. She was like, mm. man. Hey, hey, hey. Like, I had a different <laughs> Like, I don't like this. Like, <laughs> and it was a prefix joint. Mm. So it was like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you want the fish or you want the meat? Right. So I was like, you know what? I got you. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? Because the way I grew up, you know what I'm saying? Listen, as long as it's though. edible, Sometimes I just crush it. Like, I ain't even going to be too particular. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my man Vardo. He made me change all that shit up. But uh, I wanted I wanted to know that. So um, you said food and relationships go together. Why For do you sure. feel that way? I think that uh, food definitely feeds the soul, no matter what. So for me, it's like, hunt. Like you got a girlfriend or you got somebody you're involved with. You got to ask, like, yo, did you eat? The first thing, like, did you eat today? Mm-hmm. Like, What'd you eat today? Like, it goes together. Like, that's that makes that person feel good. Feel cared on, for. And, and yes. on either side of the on any side mm-hmm. of the spectrum. Yeah. And I think that that's something that that's huge. Um, and the things it's like you can't eat, you might not see this person for a couple of days. You may be working, grinding, and whatever. It's like, what'd you eat today? You okay. Good. Okay. You need something to eat. I get that question with love. <laughs> Say what? I get, yeah, I get that question asked like like my wife be about to get jealous. Like, what you ate today? <laughs> <laughs> oh oh, oh did you bring me some? Like, I don't get I don't get that. She expressed love. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, but that I mean that's I mean, <laughs> you, <laughs> hey Tony, yeah. Sometimes you don't get expressed with love. It's kind of come with that whole like because yeah. it's not the grind. If you've been together with my team, let me go home with a little years. bit of crab cake in my bed. <laughs> <laughs> what you see? <laughs> <laughs> but now, nah, that's definitely. I mean, that's def. I personally think that those two go hand in hand, and especially when you like courting and you're trying to figure it out, you're trying to understand. Mm-hmm. Eating, it, it just goes like. Think about like the times we coming across with, you know, just having Thanksgiving and yeah. Christmas. Mm-hmm. I think food and that goes a long time. It's like, honey, what you cooking this year? Or you know, it could be vice versa for the man or the woman. And like, oh, I'm cooking a turkey, babe. You know what I mean? Like that's what it is. So I think the food and relationships go to hand in hand. Like food feeds the soul, so it, it helps with the relationships for sure. Because it shows care. Because because if I don't care, I'm not gonna share that plate with you. <laughs> I'm yeah. not gonna share that plate with you. But, nah, but you know what? So I, you would be I, out on a date, and if you ain't care about a girl, you wasn't sharing that plate. I'm probably if, first of all I'm on the date and I don't care about the girl I'm gonna get appetizing <laughs> oh. so it ain't enough it ain't even enough to share. I gotta make our last experience it, it, at least it ain't enough to share the best experience absolutely you said what you wanna make the last experience yeah. at least the best experience gotta be not if it's not in, listen I, I'm about intellect so if you, we don't connect on that level then I can't I, I'm not even gonna waste my time or your time like I can't do it I, I can't, feel you I, I can't do it so then I'm gonna get appetizing and and, uh, and, uh, so you're not even gonna try to make it better. Nah, that's what the food is for. I thought the food was like, yeah, but that no, nah, nah. If I've already got my mind made up, it's it's a wrap. Like, and I, the food can't change it. Nah, <laughs> not, <laughs> let me ask you that for a second. But I'm like, nah. <laughs> Let's go a little bit further into that. <clears throat> you said something about Thanksgiving, right? Mm-hmm. Got a woman in the room. Mm-hmm. Want to kind of? I want your input on this one. Let's go. That dining experience is a very intimate experience. Yes. If you're really going out to eat, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Right. And I feel like that's like that pop, that time where you can have some real quality time, right? Mm -hmm. What are some things that you would like men to know about that time? Is it a sacred time? Hmm. Put me on the spot. (laughs) No, because, you know, sometimes you just like, I just want to eat. Some dudes might. I know dudes would just be like, "But not going when you to get eat. dressed up. Not when you go on a okay. date. Like, not if you're going out. Like, if we just like hungry and we gonna grab anything. No. But if okay. we're gonna like go out and it's like a date, and I know you're picking me up at a certain time, and I know that we're going somewhere nice, and I like got dressed up, and yeah, then I feel like that's an intimate experience. Like, I'm expecting to learn more about you. I'm expecting to learn about your intentions. Like, I'm expecting to learn more about like who you are. 
It doesn't matter if you've been with this person for some time or in general. Like, if or I've been is with this person for some time, time, then I'm expecting you to bring some new energy. Like, I want to be inspired in a different way tonight. Like, I want you to Dang. bring some challenges to the table. Like, I don't know. You better bring some games, some fun, some entertainment. Like, what? some shit better be on my chair. Like, when I sit down, it's like, oh, no. like you got to be like. Well, y'all better not so- take out that phone, though. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> that I mean, shit but is if annoying. No phone, dude. They but I'm a no phone. Talk about uh, entertainment. I'm a no phone. <laughs> that shit. No, but like, I mean, if y'all are vibing, I mean, why would she be picking up her phone? Some people today just on women can't put that phone down. But I think that's mutual. I don't think that's that's what I'm saying. People, people, it's gotta be mutual. It's gotta be. But I feel like when people are into their phone, it's generally because too, like, they're also looking for inspiration. I don't know. I feel like when people are bored or they don't know what to say, like, absolutely, that phone is just there as the buffer. Mm, Everyone is socially awkward Nobody wants to talk about it You know that time When you've like Talked about everything And there's nothing To talk about Is there nothing Ever to talk about No that's, there's always Something to talk about That's, that's okay, okay, okay. Check. That's But what people you don't want To do that work <laughs> Because that's check. work <laughs> That's no, work that is work To have something To talk about Especially when you've Known somebody forever It's like what's new Information right So then we talk about What we watched on television Like what's going on In the world What's going on With our friends Like you know But you gotta find something That's when you start Doing new things Like we should try To do this new thing Asia this is why I like So hold on Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I got a Go question ahead. though Are we talking about like that's this is a date and we and we've been talking for a while or we just met if we just met. No, see, like just met, like that's gonna be you have all the conversation in the world. When you know someone, that's when you gotta do work. Right. Okay. Yeah. But this is that's why I love saying. you. You brought something up. We wasn't supposed to go here, but I want to ask about this. <laughs> what are you watching? On television? Yes, ma'am. Everything. <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> what is that like, thing that you want people to be like, yo, do y'all check this out? Um, damn, but I don't know because I wasn't. I just finished watching that. What was that? Love Country. Okay, okay. I had to rewatch that shit because it was so good. All right. Um, what else am I watching? The Undoing. The Undoing. That is a good dinner. That That's a good, good good dinner conversation. Yes. Mm-hmm. Tony got a theory. You want to <laughs> give the theory live? I hear it. All I'm gonna say is <laughs> <laughs> that the only way I can appreciate what they did with that um, mini series is if that ending was whack. It was. It was whack, but it was a good show. But it can be a dope ending only if they come back with a new season. We talked about this already. Yeah. They can't just come back with a new season. It, I had I, to put a In order for me to it. really, really appreciate what they did with the ending of that show, I need another season. You need another season. And I don't want to put it out there. Oh, y'all want to put it out just, there? Just because I don't want to mess it up for people who haven't seen it. Damn. <sighs> How long has uh, it been? Wait, wait. What's the expiration on on when uh, people have to? Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. We passed two weeks. Because <laughs> Instagram is going to tell you. <laughs> She's like, I okay. need to know. Hold on. Instagram is going to tell I you. Watch it. You ain't watch it. What you watching on TV right now? <laughs> so I'm gonna be totally transparent. I don't watch TV. What? That's what's up? Nah, you lying. Really watch TV. That's because he giving y'all that culture gold man. Yeah. yeah. Nah, exactly. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm the type of person, and this is like deep and spiritual, but I don't really put my brain into anything that's on that TV. My grandfather used to call it the idiot box. So mm-hmm. I don't watch TV. You don't even watch do. like little cooking shows, chef, chef? So I do, I do watch cooking shows. So mm-hmm. if I watch TV, it's cooking shows and it's comedy. Only two things I can watch. So okay. I watch stand up. What was stand-up the last comedy show you watched uh, that you liked? That Kevin Hart thing was whack. <laughs> nah, the last one he did I don't know He was in his pajamas And he was talking about His kids again And I'm like I don't know What we was talking about again. I just didn't want to Be involved in it Alright let's give it, let's it on the good note what, what was the good one then Yes The last good one Dion Cole Shout out to Dion, Dion Cole Dion Cole is funny as shit mm-hmm. Shout out to Dion Cole Every time Oh he, Every time he comes to the, the city I can't, I can't remember the line? I knew he was going to say that What's the lie What well, is the lie Well Slap 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 <laughs> Slap, slap. Ah, oh, sounds so like a gotta, plan. Wait, that, that's, I got a question for you then. Shout, shout out to Dion too. When, when you're you come out to DC, on you a date, what are you? What are you talking about? Then what's the oh, conversation? Everything. Like I want to know spiritually. Like I, I got to. I got. We got a link. Like I got to figure it out. Like, if but I'm I talking about after time. y'all been in a relationship for a while. That's what you're talking about in a new. When it's are we new? talking about everything? We talking about silly stuff. We talking about everything. What's going on with your life? The, the, the the family, but you see you her every kids. day. You know all everything about the whole family. Every and she's day. watching. TV. I don't. I, nah, we just f- figuring out new stuff to do together, and we're trying to figure out how to engage and how to connect, keep con- that connection, that bond going. You cooking for? Her? You telling her about new recipes? She inspired you on. I'm definitely cooking for. Her. 
She can get meals every day. I be, I'm a firm believer in that. I wasn't before, though, when I was younger, nah. But, like, older, I'm like, nah, like, we got to eat healthy, whatever you, like, take that off your plate, you know? <laughs> Yo, I, I will admit, not to deviate too far off that topic, I feel like dudes who cooking are winning like a month. Like they right are now. winning. No. <laughs> nah. Hell yeah. They are, they are winning. winning. Y'all, like, no, winning. no. From the outside looking in, right? It got me in my kitchen just trying to figure shit out. Like, real talk. My son is like, Dad, what you doing? Dog, I'm in here. I'm in here. Like, I'm going to the grocery store all day, every day. <laughs> I'm going to figure this shit out. Reason why is because I have not known all my life, Lord, where have I been? I don't know. <laughs> but the reality of the situation, I did not know how much women like food. What? Love food. How is that possible? I did not know. No, women love food. They, 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 they like, we just talk like about literally. them loving yeah. our food and their food. No, no, I, but you know, <laughs> I was just looking at it like just being greedy. Like, yeah, just being greedy. But no, like really love food. Like mm-hmm. I'm noticing how keen women's sense of smell and taste is. It's like, impeccable. It's, mm-hmm. Like they be like. It's impeccable. Is it garlic in that? Like, <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. Who gives a fuck? Like she tastes good. Yeah. You know what I'm but saying? Hold on. Right. Side note, that is conversations we talk about. So we eating and we out on a date. That's what we're talking about. We're talking yeah. about, hey, listen, this, this, like, Yo, what what's you in get, this? What, what you get? How, how you did it, oh babe? My goodness. <laughs> what you would have did? Yeah. What you yeah. would have added to it? It's, it's yeah. like that's that, yeah. that's a conversation you have to like bring that to life. Like you know, yeah. I mean? like, that's just. I mean, that's just me personally. You know, you just talk about life. I'm all about giving people their flowers, for sure. So one of the people I will give their flowers is my man Tone. I remember years ago, you know, I was still, you know, I love. I'm a nightlife guy, right? Not for the reason that other people may think, right? I like my music loud. Right, mm-hmm. and I like to be social, but most times I be out and I just want to hear loud music and I want to have my drink because that's I feel more comfortable doing it. Right, mm-hmm. and I remember I used to tell Tony, I'd be like, "Yo, what you doing?" He like, "Yo, me and wife was in the house, like we been whipping it up, taco night, <laughs> night. <laughs> boom, boom, boom." Then he'd be like, "Yo, we made this vegetable, uh, uh, what was it vegetable lasagna and all this or whatever." I'm like, "What?" I like, love it. I and love he it. having a bowl hey, in the house. Hey, hey Tone, yeah, I'll be, I'll be hey, Tone. Busy. <laughs> I'm, I'm most definitely looking for a sous chef in the next <laughs> but it's, so, it's, it's the whole experience it's what right. you look at to even get inspired what to cook it's the going to the store to buy the ingredients man. it's bringing it back home prepping the food it's mm-hmm. the like help me do this it's all oh, you just sit there and, and watch me do it man. Yeah. and then you get that gratification of someone feeling like they had a great meal what got you in the kitchen I had to help my moms okay so if um, like Single mom raising raising two boys. So if she was coming home from work, she, she worked in New York. So she had to take public transportation over there. Sometimes she didn't get home until like seven, almost eight o'clock. Yeah. So to help dinner get done faster, she put me and my brother to work. I'm the oldest one. So I had the more heavy, heavier duty. So as I got older, um, and then when we moved down here, she still went back to Jersey like every other weekend, leaving me and my brother at home to fend for ourselves. So... At first, you know, like when that, when I started, we would just be ordering the subs and the pizza. And then it just got like, let, the money that she left us, we need to make this stretch. Mm. So I would just start making the stuff that I knew how to make from her teaching me so that we can have something to eat for the whole weekend. Mm-hmm. And then from me doing that, and then as I was able to learn that this is also how you impress women, I just added that to the repertoire. And then I started watching the cooking channel. Mm-hmm. And then that's how I got a little bit more listen, advanced with it. Ain't nothing wrong with a little inspiration. Yeah. It oh, helps. he be showing out. <laughs> nah, listen to me. He be like, hey, dog. He, he like, wait, yeah, listen. man, we just grilling on the roof. because he got <laughs> Just grilling. I was just grilling tonight. I'm like, this nigga <laughs> showing up. He now said, he got me in my backyard with my little 18-inch grill, just grilling steak for no reason in the middle of the night. You know what I'm saying? I'm on Instagram like, yep. Damn. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Lamb chops. For that, Lamb man. chops out of nowhere because that's how a nigga roll. Yeah. <laughs> but I feel you. But no, but the, I mean, but he, he, he hit it on the nail when he said inspiration. Like, gotcha. like, like that's what it's all about. Like, if you feel inspired to be in the kitchen and feel inspired to like, to like want to cook and like learn like what what that person likes and wants, then mm-hmm. you're gonna like you gonna love it. Like, I'm pretty sure your little brother, mm-hmm. like like my brother used to cook these mean ramen noodles, man. And he used to put everything, everything but the kitchen sink in it. But I'm like, man, it looked nasty, but he be tearing it up. But like, right. it's so good, right? But those are the things like in life that it's just like. You don't forget, mm-hmm. and it's one of those things that you still get inspired by those things as as an adult. Mm-hmm. You know I mean? So for me, like cooking in the kitchen and getting inspired is half the battle. 
know what I mean? When you when you're talking about those things, and it's, it's and it, to me, like and you also said another thing was the experience. Mm-hmm. To me, the experience is is you know being in the restaurant business for so long, and then now having culture gourmet, um, and helping a lot of businesses along the way. But now that I'm have my own, this is the first time I have my own, and I'm diving in, and I'm putting everything I have into it. It's all about the experience, man. Like, mm-hmm. you, I mean, everybody walks in the door that comes in and like an Instagram and likes a post and comes in and sees a picture or sees something, they don't have to come in and eat the food. So I, you know, we appreciate them on a whole different level. Because Talk about, about that a little bit. Go further into that, the experience. It, it, to, I mean, to me, it's all about, to me, it's, that's all you have. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't care. Like, um, you, you just never know when that person comes to the, to your door, what they've been going through how long they've been thinking about you. If they're like, man, listen, I've been thinking, looking at that crab cake, man, for two weeks, man. And I just, I just came, you know what I mean? To, to, to have this experience and mm-hmm. whatever you, we can do along the way to help that along the way. That's the, that's the biggest thing. And that goes with like, period. Like you, when you're going out on a date, <laughs> you want to have the best experiences. Like, okay, I'm the type of person I'm actually, well, what do you like? And I'm going to go through the menu with you and talk to you. And like, we're going to get the best thing that you think is the best. Mm. So you eat off my plate, but <laughs> <laughs> but not, <laughs> not sharing. But now nah, I'm joking. But at the end of the day, like those are things that we're talking about. So you know, when you talk about um, uh, experiences, that that holds so much weight, bro. Mm-hmm. Like it's just so much weight. The whole because that's all we have. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's all we have. And, and it's it not about you. the money. It's not about it's not about the money. Where mm-hmm. it was Del Frisco's, if it's Fig and Olive, if it's. Uh, DCGB, if it's whatever top restaurant you can think of, if it's Filomeno's, whatever you can think of, I'm talking about like staples around the city, whatever you think it is, it's not about the money. You think about when you go to Filomeno's and what do they do at the end of the meal? They give you the amaretto and the Sambuca. Mm-hmm. Like it's the best experience ever. You're like, man, listen to me. I'm coming here for my anniversaries and my weddings mm-hmm. because I can get lit at the end and be sitting at the table drinking Sambuca mm-hmm. for, you know, to the end of the night. So that's the same thing. It's all about the experience. So, you yeah. know, when you talk about those things, some about experiences with, you know, um, courting, courting, or when you talk about some experience, you know, being in a relationship, a long, you know, a long marriage or, um, those are the things that, so food, and to me, that goes back to the food. It holds weight in a relationship because it, it, it goes hand in hand. I agree with you. Yeah. 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 I agree with you. But it also help you, uh, like it broaden your horizon because you can go out to a restaurant and probably can't even pronounce the words on the menu. Right, mm-hmm. right, right, right. Try you got it. that waiter. No, but you got that waiter that that comes to you and is like, hold on, what do you and explains that thing to you. Uh-huh. So that's that experience part. You know what I mean? Like yeah. like the, or, or you may not even know, but the person you're with may know. Mm-hmm. And they can explain that menu, you know, that thing to you. You know what I mean? They may know what's venison or what's what's you know, dunk confit, like yeah, what's, dunk confit, yeah, what, what's dunk confit. Oh, like, I feel like my that's mom for said, guys though. Like y'all like explaining stuff. Y'all wanna? I mean, we do, but when girls start explaining stuff, it's just a different experience. Yeah, we probably zone out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 probably like, I'm gonna be real. I'm a hundred. I'm a yeah. I'm, I walk the truth. Yeah, we I probably feel like zone men out. wanna be the one explaining stuff. Nah. Yes, they do. They wanna get that menu. They want to talk to you about. Nah, some guys. If you can add that to your game, that's always that's love. always dope. Yeah. That's always love. But I'm we don't really want to take the time to learn that. Like, come some on, guys think do about, though. I mean, yeah, we are different now. Like, we, we love, we seek that. Experience. But like, most men, not not. I know most men that they're not looking for that. They're like, what's dunk comfy? They're like, nah. What's duck cute feet? Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Baloney. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Bolognese. Yeah. What's that? What's Bologna's. that? <laughs> yeah. Um. Let's go a little bit further into that. So it's holiday season. We just came off of Thanksgiving for sure. Coming into Christmas. Mm-hmm. Merry Christmas to all of y'all. If y'all listening to this on Christmas Day, um, New Year's coming. Happy New Year's. Happy New Year. Happy Kwanzaa. <laughs> 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 <All> the above. <laughs> Got to cover your bases. Um, and somebody's out there probably right now, like thinking about. All right, look. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna make us, I'm gonna make us look good for it. There's a guy out there right now saying, you know, I wanna treat my lady right. I'm gonna go hit that kitchen right quick, or I'm gonna go holler at Coach Gourmet. You better or holler at Coach Gourmet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, um, right. Especially if it's the first day, cause you can stunt. You know what I mean? Take that, dump it into a hold little on, pot. I got a quick question. I got a quick question. Side, side, has, as, I'm um, this for the, a question for the gentleman. Mm. 
Have you ever, ever bought takeout and pass it off as yours? Nah. I wanted to. I never did it. <laughs> nah. But I wanted to. Nah. I thought that was just ill. Like, I'm like, man. I would like order and be like, yo, yeah, go to, don't get, put get, that shit in the pot. Listen, get the RPM and get the, <laughs> oh, the no. Monster Rally over. Or that, or that, or that, the black, the crank crab. Oh, my. That's my mm-hmm. shit hey, listen right to me. there. Like, yeah, this is something I worked up a little bit. Yeah. Put your apron on, throw the, Mm-hmm. Just throw some, you do some yeah, 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 a little bit, yeah, yeah, do nah, nah, you do the LeBron, that wouldn't work on you, <laughs> that would, that would work, yeah, that would work, that just like RP, like, yeah, you just read the menu, like, yeah, this is something that, you know, we studied in, uh, in France, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. totally Italian, but we tell you, yeah, in France, yeah. you know I use like three different it. techniques, huh, I said it's about the effort. It's about that. It's all yes, uh, I like that. It's all about the effort and That's the illusion of the effort. Now, nah, look, I'll, even though it's illusion, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's all about the effort. I'll get the takeout right, but I'll plate it uh, and throw some candles and, and make that whole no, exactly. experience I, yeah, something. Something. You listen to. Me. So when I ask the question, it's like no, the whole experience, not just order the food and be like, yeah, I put this into the go box. Like nah, nah, nah. nah try nah. to like pass it off like completely. Like no, yeah. like nah. This is a whole like I've been sweating all day. My mama called me. My great grandmother gave me this recipe, mm-hmm. and like yeah, yeah. That's what I'm trying. That's what I'm Fact thinking though. about. So where did you get that off? Kudos to you, my brother. Definitely. Kudos. <laughs> so some people. Let's think about this. We came off of Thanksgiving. People was on their mac and cheese. I had the jerk turkey. I'm sure some people had the fried turkeys and things like that. Coach, you man had the jerk turkeys too. Yeah, the jerk turkeys? Yeah. I got I got them coming up too. I'm going to post the menu tomorrow. All right. Um, what are some some ideas? Let's get some guys some ideas of how they can treat their woman a little special. Or the family in general. Or the family in general. So we're talking about family. We're talking about individuals because it's a whole it's a spectrum now. Let's go. Let's give them both. Let's go man to the woman, right? Oh man, to the woman, that's easy. All right, all right, we got three. Let's go, single lady, child whip up a meal, right? She right. wants, she wants some dope. She wants, yeah. She she got her, she got her bottle of wine. She like, I need a dope meal for this wine. I'm not gonna say fuck these dudes, but <laughs> let's just say hypothetically, she's celebrating her. She's loving her today. She's celebrating her. Yeah, oh. she, holidays is coming. She's like, I'm celebrating me with a dope glass of wine and a nice meal. We're gonna give her. What's the nice meal for her? I got you. The stuffed salmon. Okay. Stuffed salmon yeah. with the crab meat, asparagus. You can do it with the mashed potatoes or the rice or whatever starch you want. Sweet potatoes. It could be whatever you want to do. But that's that that's the meal for that for that lady. Like, let me go ahead and do this and with the lemon butter though. And what kind of wine though? Do for me, for that, it's gotta be a Chardonnay. Chardonnay. It's gotta be because the Chardonnay already has a butter flavor. So when you add that lemon butter, you add that butter because you would add butter to that dish, right? Yeah. So a Chardonnay gives you that flavor profile. Okay. So you would go with a Chardonnay for me. Uh huh. You know what I mean? All right. So that's to me that like that's the ultimate for it. A single lady and lemon butter is easy to make. Lemon butter is only like four or five things. Mm-hmm. It's cream. Mm-hmm. It's butter, shallots, uh, white wine. And if you want to add garlic, add a little bit of garlic just yeah. for flavor. Okay. Let it cook down, reduce. And some parsley. Nah, 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 nah. We're not doing a parsley. Nah, nah, nah. But I'm just saying that those five things and just that have reduced down and you get it, you take your salmon, you make your kitchen grandma's recipe, call it get a crab cake recipe, take and cut the salmon up. You can buy that Whole Foods cut already for you or any grocery store. Buy the salmon, mm. put it on top. Wild card, wild card. Mm-hmm. You cut it, and you know how to cook. I ain't gonna tell nobody how to cook mashed potatoes and asparagus, but you know what I mean. Like that's that to me. That's a perfect meal. All right. Like so that. single ladies, let us know how you feel about that. Hit us up at puttinginpodcast dot com, or hit us on the on on, on the gram at pins at under school podcast, or hit go coach gourmet at I'm coach gourmet say, yeah. and let them know if that was the ticket. All right. So we got single ladies out. Husband, <laughs> like baby, you've been grinding all year. I love you. Little man, little girls, love y'all. I got y'all tonight. What's the meal daddy doing? Uh, listen, so for me, yes, lobster tails. Yes. Hey. Easy. 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 Like for me too. Easy. Out the way. <laughs> Out the way. Uh-huh. All right. Lobster tail. Let's go. What, what we doing with lobster tail? Listen, the size of your size, whatever you want to pick. But the, the lobster tail, you can poach it in that butter. Mm. I'm talking about like let it defrost the lemon out. Butter like, too, though. You can do listen to you. Or the clarified butter. Yes. Listen, you yeah, go with the, nah, you go that. with that lemon butter on that salmon. Ooh. 
Listen, the kids ain't gonna listen. The kids gonna be out of control. <laughs> I'm, they're gonna be jumping off the walls for yeah. sure. And just do. I mean, just keep it simple. What size would you do if you try and make it go a may status? Broccolini. Okay. Me. Mm-hmm. And I would definitely go with like another veg for me. Okay. I would just do. I I would do that. But I know the kids may want. So we doing lots of tail bro- broccolini and what else? Mashed potatoes. Yeah. Uh, or oh, what about a twice baked sweet potato? Mm. Regular potato. Hey, listen, like, you don't like, sweet like hold on, hold on. I do, but I like twice baked um, regular potatoes. potatoes. Yeah, listen to me, but hey, Tony, you on to something though? Yeah, with that twice baked, yeah. get some more toffee, mm. some almonds on top. Okay, honey. Yeah, I wasn't even thinking that. Oof. Yeah, you see how my Ooh. man talking yeah. right now? Yeah. Yeah. That nigga. Look, 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 change your mind now. Look, you said toffee. Now, now you want it. <laughs> toffee, make it though. I don't care what nobody say. I don't care what restaurant you ever mm-hmm. been at, whatever. You add toffee mm-hmm. to no sweet potatoes and take it to an, it take it to another level. Mm-hmm. I ain't right. talking about a lot of toffee, just a little bit of toffee. And that's something that the kids will go ham for. All right. Yeah. Now, yeah, husband and wife, man and woman, <clears throat> what are they drinking? For for that meal? For that meal. With the lobster that- tail, broccolini. The uh, twice baked a sweet potato with the almond with the toffee and what you say <laughs> and the honey and the honey <laughs> my man go ahead what what are they drinking what's wifey and her because when the kids go to bed it's daytime <laughs> it's definitely daytime I'm sorry to think like that but it's daytime so they need to drink to set it off what's the drink so you got to go with me personally a pinot grigio okay so because you will put lemon on it you will put lemon on it right so mm-hmm. pinot grigio is already a citrus. It's like it already has those those flavors, so it's kind of tart. It's kind of so when you eat that with that lemon, but it cuts through everything. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. when you compare wine to food, you take that and you put that on. So you put lemon on it, right? Mm-hmm. So you think about drinking that and you taking that bite, mm. and you got that sweet, that savory, and you put it in there. It, it's already clean the palate, and you eating it. It's going to take it, elevate that food. Mm. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all hear that? Listen, I'm, I'm gonna do a. I'm about to do a class, man. <laughs> yeah. Charger, man. Yeah. We almost done. We almost done. We we got the family. We making daddy look good. Daddy coming into the new year hey, looking listen. right. Yeah. Hey, all right. Daddy ain't got no worries. Single lady. <laughs> mean about nothing. She, she dancing ready. all night to this one. She already. She's lit. Right. Oh, she's lit. Now, dude is like, all right. I'm trying to press. Young lady. I'm trying to press my my my, my queen. Right. Yeah. King trying to press his queen. Mm. What are you doing? Lamb chops. Huh. Got to do okay. the lamb chops. All right. Don't go to the store and buy the basomic glaze and all that. Because people will go and do all kinds of crazy stuff. Listen to me. Thyme and garlic. Oil. It. No That's rosemary? It. Salt and pepper. No ro- Okay. Just thyme. thyme fresh. Mm-hmm. fresh. Fresh thyme. Fresh garlic. That's it. Simple. Mm. The palate's not that. It don't, it, it don't understand 19 things. Mm. Give it that. Some Perfect. lamb chops. I would roast some potatoes though. Okay. For me, I'm like roasting roast potatoes yeah. though for that one. Okay. For sure. And I, I'm I'm going with whatever vegetables in season. Okay. But I'm so we this winter, right? So let's say what's what's in season right now. What vegetable would be? I mean, in season? I would go with some. Listen to me. The green beans I do is, is simple. It's simple green beans. Like I, I, to me, that's a good hearty around this time. Is it's a good vegetable to go with. Okay. Um. But I'm also a weirdo too. I like carrots though. Okay, I was gonna so say I the carrots. Yeah, I, like carrots. I, I, I mean, I would go with some honey. Listen, honey glazed the honey, carrots. What? <laughs> Talk about yeah. it. Listen, I'm talking about the purple. With the, the purple di- color, I was just about to say the different you color carrots. You, you, you gotta go yeah. to the track color. So you got the you got the orange. You got the yellow. You got the purple. Mm-hmm. You do that with a little salt. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, a little bit of honey, because mm-hmm. the salt's gonna bring out the sweetness. Man. Mm-hmm. Carrots already sweet, so you bring the salt. That's gonna bring the sweet out in it. And then you add a little bit of the honey to it. It's over. Next level. Yeah. And what are they drinking? Ooh, Pinot Noir. Gotta be a Pinot. But hey, listen, with the lamb, yeah. <laughs> gotta be a Pinot. Yeah. Hey, when they say, "Hey, listen," that, that's right. <laughs> hey, listen. Clear indication of that. Yeah, that's it. Listen, somebody hungry right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you hungry and you like it, what Coach Gourmet talk about? Make sure y'all hit him up and give him that shout out if y'all do this. So we got my king who then gave his queen some lamb chops, some mm-hmm. green beans, yes. right? Mm-hmm. And what else? But you got to put in the green beans. You just can't do green beans. You got to put some some shallots in it though. Okay, some green like beans and shallots. Okay. Maybe a what little about bit of soy peppers. sauce? 
So hold on. So I got two versions. Though. Yes. So we got the we got the we got the, we, we got the soy sauce one. Yeah. yeah. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 But Not the soy sauce got to have. Listen, it's got to be a mixture though. Yeah. It's marin. You got to put in there though. You got to put a little bit of vinegar, that Asian vinegar in there. Oh, okay. So the marin, mm-hmm. sugar, soy mm-hmm. on top of the green beans change your life. Yep. Mm. I just put you on though. I put you on the you game. Did. <laughs> I that. Coach, you go with me. I put you on the game. All right. That's that's dope. Mm-hmm. But the classic for me. Yeah. Salt. Pepper, mm-hmm. shallots, garlic, little bit of garlic. Okay, and you gotta go with some peppers, a couple peppers, uh-huh. red peppers. Yeah, I like that. Easy, simple, quick. Try to tell you. All right, let's recap. King and queen. He's getting uh, uh he's serving lamb, mm-hmm. right? You said green beans. Green beans. Which is the all right? Which which one are we choosing? Are we choosing classic? Yeah, we're choosing, nah, we're going to ask the queen. No, we, queen, queen, what classic. are we choosing? Queen. We That's classic. Queen, queen. what are we going to go classic? We're going classic. 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 All right, going classic with the green beans. You said yeah. the, sh- the garlic, the shallots, and what else? Carrots. And, and carrots. Carrots. The tricolor carrots, right? Yeah. It got to be tricolor. Yes. Tricolor carrots. That plate. And how are we doing the tricolor carrots? Because you got to put that pink... That pink flower with that orchid on there. You got to put that orchid on there. Mm-hmm. Throw the that. orchid. Oh, no. The orchid. My man is gourmet right now. <laughs> put that orchid on there. No, that's the experience. That's the experience. Yeah, All about experience. it. Because that orchid, she, she could be like, She'll oh, never oh, forget oh. that orchid. No. I'm telling you. Yeah. Never forget the orchid. Oh, and we talked about, we were talking about sauce and gravies earlier. <laughs> what's, what's the sauce that we could, you could put on them lamb chops? Ooh. So, at Culture Gourmet, mm-hmm. we do a sherry garlic um, gravy on top of... Um, a dish we call the matrimony because I think it's a marriage of everything. Because mm-hmm. you got chicken sausage, you got shrimp, you got salmon over grits. Okay. With pico. That's my um, type of vibe right there. So so for me, like that's why I call it the matrimony. Mm-hmm. But that dish right there, that sherry gravy we put on top, I mean, that thing is like for me, like I put it on everything. Like mm-hmm. literally. Like if I'm if I'm doing chicken and I want to do something quick, you put that on there. Mm-hmm. So for me, it's sherry garlic. Um Time in my secret ingredients, I put a little bit of apple juice in there. Mm-hmm. Change your life. Okay. Yeah. Just, 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 just if I can't give away all the rest. No, no, it's cool. I'm happy. Yeah. I'm happy. Yeah. You, you, but, you, but listen, I'm the type of person I walk in truth, man. So listen, I, I give it and. But they gotta come to you not first. How they do it, yeah. To taste it, so they yeah. can inspire it to go back home and do it. Fact though, <laughs> but you gotta come different. try that. You yeah. gotta dot a little bit of apple juice because the apple juice brings out all the but what flavor. What kind? Profiles. Like apple cider? Like regular apple juice? Like what are we talking about? Mots. Out of me. Out of me. All right. Um, I'm happy you said that. That brings us to this topic. We talked about all these dudes. No, hold on. Oh, you go didn't guys. talk about you didn't give like what the girl is doing for her boo. Oh, we we switched. I was trying to make the ladies feel great today. Oh, okay, that's what's up. Man, she gonna no, cook no, the same. No, 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 hold on, hold on, <laughs> hold on, hold on. She gonna cook the same thing she cooked for herself. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> she was if she was dancing and moving around, she gonna cook them. She gonna cook the I, same. All right. For the woman, there's a lady out there. That's right. She says she wants to she wants to get her king right. What is that lady doing Man, for her king? Listen to me, she getting the ribeye. I'm telling you, she gonna okay. get that red. She going this. So that's what she doing eye. for him. Yeah. She doing a ribeye. She doing okay. a ribeye. Okay, for sure. The Hawaiian ribeye, like you know, like everybody go to Houston. That's in this area. You definitely gonna go mm-hmm. try to do the same thing. That's what they gonna do. So the ribeye, she should do the ribeye with what? Excuse me, with ribeye, def most definitely with the mashed potatoes. You can't do, you yes. can't do a steak without mashed potatoes. Though. Okay, mm-hmm. got to do mashed potatoes. Um, but I would do herb mashed potatoes. I would do a little bit of the rosemary. Mm-hmm. A little there bit of go. oregano, and I will mix that with a little bit of garlic mm-hmm. and those mashed potatoes, herb mashed potatoes with that steak, and be amazing, mm-hmm. amazing. Or the yeah. smashed roasted potatoes, smash, yeah, the smash roasted, yeah, yeah. I told you this thing be showing off, right? Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I see. Listen, listen I'm, I'm always thinking like, like, yeah. well, man, I'm thinking like. So, to be honest with you, I was thinking about doing some purple mashed potatoes mm-hmm. and killing them with. That. I like my purple mashed potatoes with palm though. Purple palm, mm-hmm. garlic, it's a wrap. Yeah, wrap. I don't know about that. It put me on the game. I know. <laughs> most people like, like you know, so when you talk about different things, and that's why I try to push the envelope on, on the menu that we do because we trying to, I always do things that's a little bit different. So I may add that cauliflower that people don't know me, but I'll mix it with something that they need to eat. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I do the onions, the, the the broccoli, whatever it is to mix that in 
to make people, you know, to get people to, to open up. Because some people are like, man, listen, I don't want to eat. I ain't, if I don't know it, I ain't eating. I, if I ain't seen it, I ain't, my grandma ain't make it, I ain't make it, I ain't eating it. So, yeah. you know, you try, to, you try to open it up. So that purple mashed potatoes, it's so funny. Uh, parsnips. Mm-hmm. Most people don't eat parsnips. Mm-hmm. If you take parsnips and mix it with potatoes, mm-hmm. it's it's the it's it's a oh even making a uh, cauliflower puree. Mm-hmm. Most people don't even do that, and it's simple. It's easy. Or the cauliflower rice. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Stir fry. Yeah. Do the same thing. The stir fry. Yeah. So so most people don't even understand that piece when it comes to like eating healthier and, and understanding that piece. They don't mm-hmm. understand that. So if I was if if that was the queen, she's cooking for a king. Mm-hmm. She should most definitely do, uh, I think, a cauliflower, mm-hmm. uh, a cauliflower puree mm-hmm. or cauliflower, and I think she should stick with a a, a good green vegetable like zucchini. Mm. Just go with it. I like zucchini, and just go with it. Mm. You know, she could put palm on the zucchini and it changes life. She probably we probably get down on one knee after. She, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I heard that first. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Somebody get it married. Put the palm, put the put the palm of zucchini. Is uh, you know what I'm mad though? I ain't get. I didn't learn this secret until after I stopped eating red meat. To marinate the steak in the uh, pineapple puree with the skin and all that, and it helped mm-hmm. break, break down the um the steak. Yeah, because anything with acid, anything with acid, um, breaks down the protein. Mm-hmm. So like anything you add, like when you add lemon juice and you add like so. Uh, pineapple is a very it's it's actually stronger than lemon and lime, yeah. believe it or not. So it breaks down things a little bit different. So the Hawaiian steak that I'm talking about, mm-hmm. you definitely have to put pineapple juice in that. Whole, what's the name? So pineapple juice, orange juice, garlic, uh, a little bit of onion powder, garlic powder, simple, a little bit of soy sauce. That's a great marinade for a Hawaiian steak. Like mm-hmm. you, you, you gonna win with that one. Like you most definitely gonna win. You hear that, Queen? Yeah, yeah. Hear that, Queen? <laughs> you said you want a ring, right? <laughs> <laughs> she definitely get a ring with that. Yeah. So let me ask you this: um, one of the things we also talked about was uh, do's and don'ts. Mm. Um, based on the culinary experience and your culinary your culinary experience and things like that, what are some do's and don'ts that you think people should be aware of when it comes to this kitchen? It's a few. It's, okay, it's definitely it's definitely a lot. I think that um, know your comfort zone is the biggest thing. Knowing what you what you're comfortable with. Don't try to go too much out of the box because then you, you know, because I'll tell somebody how to make cauliflower puree. If they really don't like cauliflower, they don't know how to taste it. They even understand what that tastes like. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So for me, like it's just stick what you know, yeah. but just do it well and make sure it's fresh. Don't okay. go, don't try to go the cheap route. Don't try to go the, like I, I went to Lidl's and brought this steak for, you know what I mean? It was sold on sale for $5.99. No, go to Whole Foods. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. And buy that, and, and and buy that grass fed beef that's been sitting there. Mm-hmm. And a lot of times people don't understand that the but you the product you buy is definitely a reflection of 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 that flavor profile you get back. Mm-hmm. So I don't try always try the best ingredients because that comes back to me. Mm-hmm. It it never not comes back to me. You right. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So for me, like yeah, you can go to the international store and get some short ribs or whatever. You want to, whatever protein you want to get, but or get the hormone chicken and do whatever you want to do. But once you eat it, it's going to taste different. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's going to taste different. All so. right. So stay in your comfort zone. One, mm-hmm. two. What's another one? <laughs> Try to understand what experience you want to give. Explain. So understanding the preference, like what do they want? Or like what 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 things to you that interest you? Because you can make cauliflower, you can make green beans, you can make a wine steak, but they, if they don't eat that, then how could you how could you manage that experience? Right. Mm-hmm. So for me, like engaging with that person, connecting with that person, understanding what are they looking for when you're cooking for them, mm-hmm. like that's that's the most. That's a that that's definitely a do. But another do is just buying the best, like like. And I'm not saying like going in and spin the bag and because some of the stuff is overrated. You go to the, all these grocery stores, these high end grocery stores, and they they advertise these things. And sometimes it's about it, it's really expensive. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So that that person may be like, man, I'm not spending like twenty five dollars a pound. Like that's crazy when you think about it. But in the end of the day, you got to buy the best. Got you. Got to. Got to. Got a three. Got a third. So for me, like, just do it with love and passion. Like, you got to do it. Got to put your jaws in it, huh? 
<laughs> no, you gotta put your drawers, your heel, your uh, your whole back, yeah, yeah. You gotta put shoulder, your back into it, little yeah. neck. You gotta put everything into it. Like, yeah. don't do it. Don't do it, and just do it because you gotta have the right intentions behind it. Yeah, I talk to my food, and that may sound crazy, but I talk to my food. Like, I, I want to be. I'm talking to the lamb. Like, yeah, lamb, we're gonna do this today, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? Because that's what it is. Like, you gotta put that same energy into your food. You yeah. gotta be able to. Um, Bring, bring it to light for me. You know what I mean? Like, you got to be able to understand the products. And everybody goes by buying the right products, getting the right seasonings, and understanding what you're putting into it. And understanding and knowing what you're doing. Like, mm-hmm. research it. Like, you're cooking lamb chops, research it. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, you may not never do it, but just research it. Figure it out. Try to understand it. Yeah, watch a couple of YouTube videos. Got to. Yeah. Got to. Got to. Got to. As we close, I want to end off right here by asking... You this. Culture gourmet experience. You talked about it, you know, being a, you know, you taking a part of every, every culture, elevating it with that gourmet flavor mm-hmm. and that gourmet, uh, gourmet, um, aesthetic, et cetera. It's got to um, I listen to me. I want everybody to open a box. If I put a picture, listen to me. I don't, and I told my business partner, we both agree. If I post a picture, I want to look as close to that picture as possible. Mm-hmm. Sometimes there's a lot of people out here that will post a picture, and when you get that box, it don't look the same. Right. So that's my that's another big thing for me. Like you got to do that. Sorry, cause you're open. Nah, you good. You good. Yeah. Cause this is where I want to go. Last episode, one of the things we talked about um, um, in a previous episode, but nevertheless, one of the things I want to touch on is just entrepreneurship. Um, we're all creatives. We out here creating. COVID has really created that experience where you really got to be on your dean, right? Um, and you really got to live your passions and you're either going to sink or swim, right? Um, shout out to you and Coach Gourmet. You know what I'm saying? You had a long journey into enterprise for yourself and endeavor in that capacity is a really dope situation. So everybody who's listening right now, tell a friend to tell a friend. It. You can do it. It's all It may not be a stocking stuffer. But definitely it's something that's going to set your table. So y'all go ahead and support Culture Gourmet. It's at Culture Gourmet. Go support Culture Gourmet. Get some good food in your life. Um, they borrow from a piece and part of all coaches. Um, I want to shout out somebody that, you know, that you've done business with recently. Uh, JB, at Chef JB DC. Oh, man. Listen to me. Shout out to JB, man. Listen to me. We linked up with him like two weeks ago, three weeks ago. Yeah. And when I tell you, like, the vibes was just, like, incredible. Mm-hmm. That guy's, he eat. And, Incredible. And the guy that brought me, JB, is incredible too. Dre. Shout out to Dre. Okay. Uh, Urban Chef. Yeah. Uh 31. He's he's dope too. Yeah. Um, those guys, I mean, just just incredible, man. Just to be involved in that network of chefs in the city. Yeah. Um, it's definitely it's definitely I I, I feel almost like um humbled, you mm-hmm. know what I mean, to be able to work with people that just have the same energy and have the same um uh, mindset, that have yeah. the same I mean, and and at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. You Correct. Know what I mean? it, it, we can say and we can talk and we can do whatever we want to do and like have these visions in our head. Mm-hmm. But like as a collective and bringing up the culture for um, uh, black chefs in in the DMV area, mm-hmm. it's it's definitely uh, it's definitely a good thing. I mean, because any one of these guys can be a Jose, Jose Andres, they can be anybody they want to be. But uh, I think that working together, we can definitely take over the take over the the, the area for sure. Right. All right. So shout out at Culture Gourmet. Shout out Mr. Gasson. They can find you online at what again? They can find me online at, at Mr. Gatson. Uh that's uh at Mr. Dot G A D S O N and also at uh Culture Gourmet. All right. Um and as I said before, I want to shout out somebody you went in business with recently at Chef J B D C. Shout yes. out Chef Dewan, shout out Boogie, shout Boogie. out everybody, shout out yeah. that whole team. I the rock all team. y'all. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all really held me down in the past. You know what I'm saying? I really want to shout y'all out. Um outside of that, we do have some stocking stuffers. <laughs> Let's start here. Y'all need to read a book this year. <laughs> <laughs> if y'all haven't read a book this read year, there book. is a book that you need to read. Yes. I, I let me. ESP hit me again. <laughs> it's called Workplace Shenanigans, y'all. Wait, mm-hmm. I got a new book coming. And she got, that's what I was getting <laughs> to. Oh, you got to have an appetizer uh, first. Gotta, I was giving you the appetizer. Yeah. So first we read 
workplace shenanigans. Yeah. And then on Christmas Day around that roasted fire with your chestnuts and all the above. Yeah. What are you going to read, Asia? You're reading A Career for Christmas. Hey. Yeah. Let's give it up, <laughs> <laughs> so we are privileged and we are blessed to have Ms. Asia here because she is a super dope author. She yeah. workplace shenanigans a good read. Definitely go check that out. What is this new book about? Okay, so a career for Christmas is like <laughs> Don't do it. No. <laughs> no. 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 She's like, oh my god. Yeah, I mean, I was ready to talk about yeah, it. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That's like, what I was talking I about. Like, Stocking stuffer. It, but, you know <laughs> but no, I'm really excited about it. A career for Christmas is just about um a super dope girl who is not a good culture fit at her job. She works in the world of public relations and she's trying to figure out how to mix and match her relationship and her job. And it's just like really difficult for her. So at the end, she has to figure out how to get both. And at the end, she does. So you'll have to read to find out all of the excitement in between. All right, Five all right. <laughs> On my first day of Christmas <laughs> at Coach Gourmet brought yeah. to me a dope hip hibachi. <laughs> dope hibachi. <laughs> <laughs> On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me workplace shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> On my Thursday of Christmas, oh, yeah. my true love yeah. gave to me a bro. No, we're not going there. On my third, <laughs> on the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. What is it? A career? A career for Christmas. A career. <laughs> Boom. That's two good reads. Yeah. Two good reads. Bringing your new, get, new year with two good reads. Those two good stocking stuffers. Go support Asia right now at eight, uh, Afield 1823. Go learn all about these two. Yeah. I got it. We got it. It's a dope read. Go do that. Go read that this, this, this Christmas break. Now, on the fourth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. <laughs> April's November. April's November. Uh, Let's talk about April's November. What you got, dog? Because I seen you got some baskets. Yeah, April's November is a, a family company. Um, mm -hmm. We have custom scented candles. Uh, we have seven signature scents. We also have scented hand sanitizer, room spray, um, and we're also working on like hair um, and body and bath products. So, okay. top of the year, yeah, I got them linen, them, them that linen scent. Yes, yeah, but the linen scent, yeah, man. When I put them sheets down. I'm ready to put some down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? I just need to put some linen scent we, we, down. We, 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 we got the linen spray. Yeah, yeah. Um, but we also working on like hair serum for the for the women, um, even the fellas. You want to make Bring that uh, hairline back. We have. Uh, <laughs> hey, listen. What you talking about? <laughs> we got. I'm the only client. I'm a. <laughs> I'm the president. The president. <laughs> um, lotion, whip, uh, shea butter. Um, wifey using working like some nail cuticle oils, um, lip balm, sugar scrubs, bath salts, the whole nine. All right. So, but right now you can go to aprilsnovember.com and you can get your candles. You can get, we even got uh, oil burners. We have matches, um, candles, and candle baskets. Man, listen, let me tell you something. I came up in like two weeks, a couple of weeks ago. Uh -huh. Man, listen, I handed some of them out. So I bought like whatever, four or five of them. Right. Handed some out. They call me. They love them, bro. Appreciate it's, that. It's amazing, man. Amazing, bro. Appreciate that. Yeah, Appreciate keep, that. keep that going, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm on it. The type of feedback that we're getting is good. Um, people falling in love with the scents. Uh, we even had like one candle that uh, is called Oral Cleanse. Uh, the good girlfriends spoke about that. Mm -hmm. um, it has the crystals in there, the dried. Uh, That's the one. Sage. That's the and one. And we have people fall in love with that because yeah. like yeah. after 2020, people going to 21, they uh, they want to cleanse yeah. their aura. Yeah. They yeah. want to yeah. set a new tone. And we have the perfect prescription on what crystals to provide you with. So yeah, hit us up. It was November. Absolutely. Yeah. Dope, dope, so. Dope. My first day of Christmas, <laughs> I you love gay to me. All right, now, we got Coach Go May on first day of Christmas. On the second and third day, we got workplace shenanigans and a, a career, career for Christmas. A career mm -hmm. for Christmas. Yes. On that fourth day, we got April's November. They got so much. We probably going to the 20th day of Christmas. Yeah. All right. <laughs> from, from seven different scents uh, of candles. Uh, uh, um, Y'all got the... Hand sanitizers, room freshener. Y'all got bath products, the whip shape butter, et cetera. Y'all go cop that aprilsnovember.com, right? Y'all can even hit them on the gram. Go follow them right now at aprilsnovember. Mm -hmm. And then 
Mm-hmm. On whatever last day that is, <laughs> <laughs> y'all come back to at Pentap underscore podcast. Hit us up. We got our fist up collection hat. Shout out everybody who's been copping that. Thank you to all our Pentappers who've been purchasing that. As you see right now, we got on the table. And if you haven't, go check us out on the gram right now. We got them in royal blue. We got them in teal. We got them in yellow. And we got them in orange. Cop that. We got some Black Lives Matter tea with a wall of names of all our fallen uh, soldiers. Y'all go get one of those hats or one of the tees. Hit us up. We'll give you more information to that. Support us at all capacity. Support mm-hmm. the people that support you. Support the people that you want to see win. And actually just put your money where your mouth is. You know what I'm saying? Like we really, really... Um, we do this for y'all. We actually do it for y'all. We do yeah. it for Absolutely. Y'all. And, you know, we not... We are what we are, but the reality is we got to start supporting our own and we got to start supporting the people that they really rock and rock out with us. So mm-hmm. with that being said, whether we talking food, whether we talking good reads, whether you talking about things that's going to cleanse that home, good energy, good vibes, or these statement pieces, whether it be our hats, whether it be these shirts, y'all definitely do that. Or if y'all just want to say, hey, look, we just want to donate to that, hit us up on Cash App at um, the dollar sign pen tap. Support us with any donation you feel uh, comfortable with doing. As we go into this new year, we wish everybody a Merry Christmas mm-hmm. and we wish Everybody, a very, very merry new year, a happy new year. We're coming in strong. Be on the lookout. We got something coming down the pipe. We already said Valentine's Day with Coach Gourmet putting in podcast and Coach More uh, Gourmet. Y'all pay attention. Stay February thirteenth, February fourteenth. Stay tuned. We coming. Nah, nah, nah. Two days. We doing two days exactly. Yeah. February thirteenth and February fourteenth. Right. More information coming soon. We thank y'all very much for following us, listening to us, supporting us, rocking out with us. We thank everybody in advance for supporting Culture Gourmet as we close this year, Ralph. Mm-hmm. Everyone who's purchasing a, 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 a curve for Christmas or workplace shenanigans by A Phil, AT23. Everybody who's copping every candle, every scent. Y'all need to yes. do this. Go get the gift basket. Go cop everything. Okay. Cop yeah, one yeah. of everything. Buy all me right? out. Buy me out. Call- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's sell out. Let's see what we can do. This is a telethon. Yeah. Who's going to do it? Call one eight eight pin tap. Y'all get it. <laughs> but with that being said, we thank y'all so much. We appreciate the love and the feedback. Absolutely. We thank all of y'all for everything. Mm-hmm. Amen. Please, we out. Peace. Peace.